Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is our 16th tutorial of Power BI. In the previous class, we have discussed four kinds of relationship in cardinality. I hope you cleared with the concepts. Now we will study more about data modeling. So in today's class, we will cover up the cross filter direction in data modeling. This concepts play an important part in our data modeling. So I would recommend please understand this concept carefully else your data model will get incorrect or will give you incorrect output. So let's start the video guys. So firstly, I'll make you understand the data. I have just only added foreign key in sales ID column in product table and add quantity column in product table. So this is the only change which I have made in data set. So go to the modeling tab. So here I have created the relationship between country table and sales table which is one to many and also I have created the same relationship between country and product table which is again one to many. So we guys can see that this arrow direction is downward that means country is filtering sales table as well as country is filtering product table and this time I want to see how many quantities are sold in product table. So our quantity column is in our product table. So let's go to the visual guys. And we guys can see their all values are incorrect. Because we have taken sales ID from sales table and quantity from product table. And sales and product has no relationship. So how can we create correct relationship and give our output correct? So few people are thinking let's simply drag this sales ID column into product table and we can build our relationship and our values will correct. So let's do that once. So I am selecting sales ID and drag and drop there. We guys know both table have many to many values. That's why cardinality pick many to many relationship and now click OK. And let's see our values will correct or not. So our values are still same. So again go to the modeling tab and we guys can see there is a dotted line which is called inactive relationship. So we will talk about it later. So let me delete this relationship first. So now question is how do we correct our values because we can't create a relationship between sales and product table. Now here guys cross filtration comes to the picture. So what I do I just simply do right click and go to properties. And change the cross filter direction from here single to both. And now click OK. So we guys can see sales can filter country table as well as product table. And now go to our visual and check our values got correct or not. So here guys our value got correct. And it displaying the right result. I know you guys may get confused after this topic but don't need to worry about it. Once you will practice four to five times I guarantee you you will easily make understand this concept. And again go to the modeling tab. And let's understand this concept in a layman language. Let's say we have three tables which are A, B and C. So A can talk to B and A can also talk to C. But B and C are not interrelated each other. So now question is how will B and C talk with each other? So cross filtration is the way to remove this hurdle. So once you change the filter direction between A and B. Then B and C can talk each other and give you the correct output. So I hope you guys clear with the concept of cross filtration. If you still have any doubt, so please watch this video again and make more practice. So stay tuned with us and please do support this channel. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And please share with those who really want to learn Power BI from scratch. And you guys can also follow me on LinkedIn if you have any doubt in related to any topics or you required any placement assistance.
so practice file and linkedin link is given under the description box so thank you so much guys for your more support